Okay, guys, so some juicy news just fell into my goddamn lap. All right, Republicans! Frankfurt, Kentucky, the Republican-led Senate voted overwhelmingly Tuesday to grant the right to collect child support for unborn children. Advancing a bill that garnered bipartisan support. The measure will allow a parent to seek child support up to a year after giving birth to retroactively cover pregnancy expenses. The legislation Senate Bill 110, one Senate passage on a 36 to 2 vote with little discussion to advance to the House. Republicans have super majorities in both chambers. Republican State Senator Whitney Westerfield said afterward that the board's support reflects a recognition that pregnancy carries with an obligation for the other parent to help cover expenses incurred during those nine months. Westerfield is a staunch abortion opponent and sponsor of the bill. I believe that life begins at conception, Westerfield said, while presenting the measure of his colleagues, but even if you don't, there's no question that there are obligations and costs involved with having a child before the child is born. The measure sets a strict time limit, allowing a parent to retroactively seek child support for pregnancy expenses up to a year after giving birth. So if there's no child support order until the child eighth, this isn't going to apply. Westerfield said when the bill was reviewed recently in a Senate committee, even at year and a day, this doesn't apply. It's only for orders that are in place within a year of the child's birth. Kentucky is among at least six states where lawmakers have proposed measures similar to a Georgia law that allows child support to be sought back to conception. Georgia also allows prospective parents to claim its income tax deduction for dependent children before birth. Utah enacted a pregnancy tax break last year and variation of these measures are before lawmakers in at least a handful of other states. The Kentucky bill underwent a major revision before winning state passage. The original versions will have allowed a child support action at any time following conception. But the measure was amended to have such an action apply only retroactively after the birth with the time limit. Despite the change, AB rights supporters will watch closely for any attempt by anti-AB lawmakers to reshape the bill in a way that sets the stage for personhood. For a fetus, says Tamara Wilder, the Kentucky State Director for Planned Parenthood Advocates. The measure still needs to clear a House committee and a full House. Any House change will send the bill back to the Senate. The debate comes amid the backdrop of a recent Alabama Supreme Court ruling that frozen embryos are legally protected children, which spotlighted the anti-AB movement long-standing goal of giving embryos and fetuses legal and constitutional protection on par with those of the people carrying them. Now my take on this whole situation, we already know the U.S. is in debt. And I believe this is another way to cut the cost when it comes to a lot of parents, a lot of mothers who are pregnant and have to rely on government assistance insurance to provide for the child during the pregnancy. So what does this mean? Do you, okay, because it says that you are allowed to collect child support to cover expenses of the pregnancy for a year. 
Does that mean that you are not entitled to get child support once the child is here? Now, let's say you and the father separate after the pregnant after the child is born and you're seeking financial support from the father does that mean you have to go in and go through the whole process of filing for child support to receive child support after the child has been born or do you continue getting it i'm a little confused drop down in the comments what are your take on kentucky passing the bill to grant child support to unborn children now you have to think about it because who is the parent okay okay let's talk about this who is the mother going to get child support from let's say there's a situation where there's multiple fathers how can you prove do the mother has to go through the process of getting a dna test before the child support is put in place yeah let's talk about it this is juicy what do y'all think about this let's talk about it